loves to play with fire and the things you'll do you can do if you so desire to try this at home with Mr. T. Hello and welcome to Do Try This at Home. Today's episode is called Toyland because we're going to make some toys out of ordinary household items. These toys are going to be pretty much fun to play with, you'll see. We're going to make the toys, then play with them after I show you how to make them. The first toy is very simple. It's a paper airplane. How simple can that get? Normal 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. What we're going to do is, this paper airplane is a little different though folks because it's the best flying paper airplane I've ever seen. And I've almost never seen it anywhere. It's so rare. What we're going to do is we're going to take the paper and we're going to fold it in half lengthwise like this and crease that. Open it back up and make your normal paper airplane nose cone fold, the kind of fold that you make for virtually every paper airplane on the planet it starts out like this, or at least a whole lot of them that I've seen do. Make sure to make that nice and even. Next, fold that down into the paper. And next, pick up your paper and fold it up like that so it looks like a little envelope with the nose cone fold inside. Next, this top edge, the nose cone side, this top edge right here, we're going to tear out about a one inch square like this. There we go. Now we're going to open it back up and do another standard paper airplane nose cone fold like this. There we go. Like that and the other side like this. Once we do that, we're going to take and our little, we have a little flap here that goes in between the little hole that we made. Fold that up and crease it so that it creates like a little holder, just like that. Next, fold your paper airplane in half the opposite way so that your little piece is sticking out here. Next, we make the wings simply by folding down each flap so that it's even with this bottom edge right here. One wing, turn it over, two wings. Most planes have two wings, actually four, but here we go. Next, we open it up and kind of give it a little bit of a fluffing out here like that. There we go. And it, it's odd. It resembles a delta wing hang glider and it has a little weight here to simulate like the person hanging from it. We'll fly this in a minute. I've made some other ones over here that are exactly the same so that we'll have fun flying more than one of them. The second toy that we're going to make today is a little bit more complex and it's called a spool tractor. You take an ordinary wooden sewing spool, make some ridges around the edges here. What I did is I just used a file and gave it some tread as you can see. Next we're going to have a rub take a rubber band that's a little bit longer than the spool. Just a little bit. It should stick out each edge by about, I don't know, quarter to a half inch. Next we're going to use a skewer. What this is for is barbecuing, making yourself shish kebab. What we're going to do is we're going to take the rubber band, we're going to stick it down through the spool. It helps if you have a long stick like the skewer here. Stick it down in there. And the rubber band should stick out both ends of the spool like that. Next, I've got a little piece of a candle, a little piece of wax that I cut from the end of this candle right here. And I made the hole in the center a little bigger so it looked kind of like a lifesaver. Next, we're going to take that and we're going to shove the rubber band through that part through there. Helps if you have your stick there for this one too probably. So that one side of the rubber band goes through the candle wax. Now the whole assembly looks something like this. Rubber band coming out each end through the candle. Next we're going to take and we are going to place a part of the skewer, about a four inch part is what I broke off here, through this part of the rubber band and pull this rubber band back through. Now let's anchor the other side here, like I've got held with my finger, the rubber band, let's anchor it with an ordinary thumbtack onto the spool. Make sure the thumbtack doesn't stick out and the spool can still rotate without hitting the thumbtack. Push it in so it anchors and it's complete. You'll see what this does in just a second. It's a lot of fun. Today's final toy and most complex is something that I like to call the Never Roll Away Can. It's a can that you can roll away from you, but it won't stay away. It always comes back. So for the never roll away can, I've got myself a Hills Brothers decaffeinated coffee can. 
and the lid, and I poked the hole in the bottom and through the lid. The hole in the bottom is eh, maybe a quarter inch, the lid's a little smaller. And I need a heavy weight. You can find anything. Use a bunch of washers, metal washers. It should be metal so it gives a lot of weight and it's not too big. Mine just happens to be a thick piece of metal with a hole in the middle. You can use nuts, bolts, whatever. Tie that to a rubber band that's fairly hefty and that is shorter than the can but when stretched makes it about to the length of the can. So if I stretch it, it's about, it'll come up each end of the can. I tied my weight only to one end of the rubber band. That's what you want to do, one side of the rubber band. I tied mine with another rubber band. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to place, place it so that the weight hangs in the center. We're going to take and place one end of the rubber band through the bottom hole, like this. There we go. And we're going to anchor that with a little piece of that skewer, just by sliding it through there. Next, we're going to take the other end of the rubber band, like this and we're gonna shove it through the hole in the lid, like this. There we go, get in there, get in there. There we go, that's through. Now we're gonna take another little piece of wooden skewer and we're gonna anchor that rubber band at the top lid, like that. See how that's anchored there? Now, what it should look like inside is it should have your weight hanging down from the rear near the center of the can, like mine, like that. Close the lid, and the Never Roll Away can is ready to be played with as well. Well, that's how you make the toys. Now let's go play with them. Come on. We're here in Mr. G's kitchen and we're going to play with the toys that we just made. First off, our paper airplane. Delta wing hang glider design, kind of rare. Used to fly these from the top stories of Taylor Towers. In Columbus, Ohio, that's Ohio State University. Watch them fly for like a mile. They glide like crazy. Here we go. Wow. Just need a little toss. Man, these things fly great. Look at that. Huh. The best flying paper airplane I've ever found. Okay, folks. We've adjusted our camera angle a little bit here so that we can play with the can that can't be rolled away. Here we go. Oh, hit the carpet. That's okay. It'll still work. Wow, isn't that amazing? Let's try it again. This time we'll go a little further towards the camera, not hit the carpet. What's happening is here is when you roll away the can, you're using kinetic energy. The rubber band inside stores up the kinetic energy as potential energy and then re-releases it rolling the can back to you. Kinetic energy to potential energy and back to kinetic energy. There we go. I'll be right back and we'll play with our little spool track. Okay, I did a little bit of cleanup, and we're back at our kitchen table here to play with our spool tractor. All we have to do is wind it up and let it rip. Oh, it went off the edge. Oh, still going on the floor. Oh, let's try that again. Here we go. Wind it up and let it roll. Whoa! That thing really goes fast. It's a lot of fun. Again, we'll take a look at how it's made. Try to remind you so you know what you're doing when you make yours. Other end, thumbtack, anchoring the rubber band. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry about that playing with some fire. I'm Mr. G. Thanks for watching yet another episode of Do Try This at Home. Hope you had a great time. There it goes, there it goes. Woohoo! Ow! Off the edge. I skewered myself and I'm bleeding now, but hey, I had a great time. Hand roll back to you. Hey, that didn't work. One more try here, we'll get it. I've done it before, I know I can do it again. Maybe.